So if you're watching this video, you're probably in a position where you're new into the agency space and you wanna get your first couple of clients on board or your next couple of clients on board. Now, before I introduce myself and go ahead and show you exact process that I use, I want you to know that what I'm about to say works. And to show you that, I could talk about my, myself, but let me talk about some of the other people that I have helped first. Um, firstly, Andrew got his first client on board. Barnaby, first client. Barnaby went through multiple courses, paid programs, things like that. Before he worked with me and working together, he was able to get his first client on board for 2K. Al Haji got his first client on board. Daniel wasn't even in my paid program. He's in the free course and he got his first two clients on board. Nikita got his first client on board and gave me an incredible testimonial for it. Uh, Manny got his first client on board. Mohammed got his first client on board and since then has scaled. I don't know exactly where he's at right now, but booking meetings is not a problem. He's got clients and he's doing good. Uh, Miles got his first client on board. Miles and his business partner. Brian got his first partner um, client on board. And me, I grew my own paid advertising agency working with e-commerce brands to multiple six figures. So everything that I'm about to share with you works. So what I need you to do is just please give me some time Go on, do not disturb mode. Focus with me for 10 minutes or so. I wanna keep this one short today um, and tell you exactly what I would do from scratch if I was starting from scratch with a new agency. So let's get into it. So what would I do? I mean, first things first, I looked at this. Uh, I was in the Facebook group today and somebody was like, I'm new in the agency space. What do I do? Well, there are a thousand of these videos on YouTube telling you exactly what to do. So what you gotta do is you gotta pick one and then follow it. And that's the point where a lot of people go wrong and what they don't do is that they watch these videos and they watch and watch, 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 thinking that there's something new that they need before they take action. And I'm not gonna tell you not to do that today because I'm gonna be totally transparent and say that that's something that you have to learn from experience. You have to learn from experience. You kinda have to be in a place where you learn a lot and then you realize that you don't actually need to learn more and you just need to do the work. But hopefully, if you're watching this, you're in a position where you know you've got to do the work and you're just looking for a final game plan to follow. And that's what I'm going to give you today. So if you're not already in that position, just understand one thing. I'm going to give you everything that you need in terms of the outside view. And then all of the things that I talk about today, go ahead and watch some of the videos on my channel. You can have a look at some other channels, but stick to the game plan. All right, that's the important part. You stick to the game plan. If you look at one of my videos on how to send cold email, don't go look at somebody else's on how to send cold email. Just follow my approach. Uh, or follow that approach. I don't care who you work with, who you watch, um, as long as you do the work and you know you actually get results for it, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, the exact process I'd follow to get my first client on board, right? First thing, I was talking about a, a Facebook group before, people are talking about doing outreach. Now you can't do outreach because you don't have something to offer yet. So the first thing is, and we, we all know the term offer, we know what that is. Once you've got your offer, then you can do your client acquisition. And once you, once you can do your client acquisition, meaning you can get clients, that's when you can look at your fulfillment. Now, what a lot of people try to do, you know how I was talking before about they, they try to think that they need something else. They're looking for that next thing that they need to know or feeling like they need more. The problem is that a lot of people start, they're supposed to be starting, there's actually a couple of steps before where they're supposed to be starting out. But a lot of people just try and just do all of this at one go. And they just think, oh, I don't have a client yet, but you know what, I need to learn how to run Facebook ads. That doesn't make any sense. You don't have a client yet. Now, there's a caveat to that. Does it make it easier if you know your service? Yes, 100%, it will be easier for you if you know your service. But it's not for the reason that you think. It's not because you know, you're gonna be doing all the work by yourself and then it's just easy. It's not because of that. It's because if you know your service well as a marketing agency and you know a marketing service, you are the better marketer. And if you are the better marketer, then it just kind of makes sense that you will run a better marketing agency because you are a better marketer and that's what marketing agencies do. So if you know your service, you're already gonna be better than other agencies out there because you understand marketing. If you're watching this video today, Truth is, you probably don't understand marketing or you know, you're learning about it, which is great, which is why you're here. So don't click off, keep watching. I'm gonna help you out. But the point is, the more that you know about the marketing, the easier this whole thing is gonna be because we're building a marketing agency. Where people go wrong is they think it's like another side hustle, like sneaker reselling, uh, drop shipping, or something like that, and they think they can get away with 
not becoming a pro. Now you need to become a pro at marketing because you're running a marketing agency. And if you're doing drop shipping, you know yourself, affiliate marketing, all of those different things, you need to be good at marketing. That's why I started my marketing agency is I realized that marketing is the core foundation of everything that comes, right? But look, let us um, let me tell you exactly what to do right now. So offer, acquisition, fulfillment. But before offer, you need to have a niche. If you don't have a niche, you don't have a section of people to work with. And that's what a niche is, right? We all should kind of know what that means. You want to start here. You don't want to start with your website. You don't want to start with your logo. You don't want to start with the business name. You don't want to get your business registered with the government yet. You want to start here. Ask yourself the question, who am I going to be helping? Once you have a who, you can then figure out what. And then when you've got the what, you can get them. And then you can figure out how. Okay, but it all starts here. Who are you helping? And when you can think who you're helping, what you want to figure out is what problem do they have? And what are the pain points stemming from this problem? Because for each problem that there is, there will be several pain points associated. And what you've got to understand about sales is that people are trying to alleviate their pain, right? These are pain, this is pain that stems from problem right? But problem stems from person. So you need to know who you're, who you're serving. You run a service-based business, so you're serving somebody. Who are you serving? Once you know who you're serving, you can then create the problem. This is like supply and demand, okay? Because if you, that's just basic economics. Quick story, the way that I got started on entrepreneurship was actually back in school and I was selling sweets, like candy or whatever you call it in the US or internationally. Um, these like little sweets, these chewy things that you eat, right? I saw that there was one guy selling these particular sweets, but he wasn't selling this other flavor. So I was like, okay, well, let me just go to sell the other flavor of the same sweet. And I started selling right away. I was selling out. I was making decent money in school just during my lunch breaks. And the way that that worked is simple supply and demand like we're talking about right here. I saw that he was selling a product and I saw that there was another very, very similar variation of that product. So I just started selling that and I took a lot of his market because they wanted the one that I had instead. So it worked, okay? <laughs> um, the point is that I was trying to go from there. You know, I totally forgot why I mentioned that. Why did I mention that just now? Supply and demand, right? That's, that's, that's it. The point is supply and demand. You find a person. I saw that there was people that wanted that thing. There you go. I saw that there was people that wanted this particular suite, so I just offered something that was similar. What you wanna do is find out what they want. When you can find out what they want, you can then create your offer, okay? You look at your niche, and you know what? I'm sorry to confuse you. Niche, once you have a niche, you find their problems. Once you find their problems, you create the offer, which is the solution to their problems, okay? Once you have that, then you can look into client acquisition and fulfillment, which we will get onto. But you wanna start here. Who are you helping? Once you know who you're helping, what are the problems they're facing? Once you know what problems they're facing, what pain points are being caused? And another way of looking at this are the symptoms of the problem. Okay, what are the symptoms? I speak sometimes like a doctor because you have to realize that when we're doing sales, this is a consultative, um, consultative, I don't know the word, you're acting like a consultant, all right? You're speaking as a consultant to the people and you're helping them as if you are a consultant. They have a problem, they have a pain point, you have a solution. You're guiding them along the process to get to their desired situation or the solution of their pain points and problems. So they have symptoms. Now, a lot of businesses out there, they know the symptoms, but they don't know the problem. So a lot of the time in our acquisition, our client acquisition, what we're doing is we're going out and we're telling them about the problem, right? And we're telling them about our solution. But again, a lot of the time people are not aware of this. They're aware of the pain points, right? So you've got to get clear on what the pain points are. If you only stop here, then you've only gone one layer deep. You only know what the problems are. You need to know what the pain points are of problem. All right. So the problem for ad, uh, for marketing agency owners like yourself is that you're not making money, you're not growing, you're not getting clients. What are the pain points of that? Well, you feel really shitty when you're around your family because you're saying that you're building a business and you've got nothing to show for it. You are working a horrible job, a nine to five that you hate and you want to get out because you don't feel respected, you don't feel appreciated and you want to get out of that pain point. 
You don't feel confident around other people because you've got nothing going for yourself, you're lazy, you procrastinate, um, or whatever it is. Maybe you, not specifically who I'm talking to you right now, but the market as a whole. And there are more pain points that stem from that. Mostly feeling underappreciated, not doing anything with their lives, uh, wanting to make more money so they can do things like this, travel the world, have financial freedom, location freedom, time freedom, etc. right? These are pain points to a problem, which is client acquisition, which hopefully, if you're watching my content, we're gonna solve for you. So you start with the niche, you find their problems, you find out the pain points that they have. You use the pain points in your marketing, all right? So these pain points, they come together and you group these together, and then that swings back into client acquisition because we're gonna use that in our marketing with client acquisition, okay? So I'm not gonna to talk too much about what an offer is today because there are thousands about videos about it and I've got my own videos, uh, probably a hundred videos of my own about building offers. So check that out after this, very important. But what I will mention today is that an offer is the transformation that you are offering someone, okay? You should know, depending on where you are in your agency journey, you should know that an offer is not a service. It is not a guarantee. It is the transformation that you are offering somebody. It is what you will do for them and why they need you in the first place, all right? So for an example of an offer, I help cosmetic dentists get 30 Invisalign patients to pay on their appointments every single month, something like that, right? We get you Invisalign patients to actually pay and actually take action. That's what we do for you. It's, it's very, very clear what we do. And that's the offer, for an example. That was a random example that I created, but that's an example of what an offer may look like, okay? Excuse me. So once you've got the offer, which is the transformation that you're offering somebody, of course, part of that is understanding your fulfillment. Because if you're telling somebody that you're going to fulfill their deepest dreams and desires and solve these pain points, you do need to have a certain idea of how you're going to do it. So what you do with your first few clients is you create a beta offer. And a beta offer is that you have an understanding of what the fulfillment looks like in terms of what you're going to be doing. And then, you know, you go ahead, you implement it for your first few clients. And depending on how it goes, you either tweak and optimize or you just keep doing what's working and cut the rest, all right? But in terms of fulfillment, there's a few things that you want and need to understand. And I'll come back to client acquisition in a second because this is gonna feed back into each other. So with fulfillment, you have to understand that every business has just a few areas in terms of the marketing. They have lead generation, lead nurture, and lead conversion. All right, these are the only three parts of a business that you need to be considering when it comes to marketing, or the main three at least, all right? Lead generation, lead nurture, lead conversion. Lead generation is literally generating the contact details or information of somebody that you wish to contact, i.e. somebody who would be interested in potentially buying a product or service from your client, okay? This is contact information, that's it, all right? Lead nurture, is you getting somebody to the point that they would convert, all right? The lead conversion, I'm gonna go here, is pretty much a sales, all right? That's what that is. That's the actual sales part. So if you're working with dentists, it's the people actually being in the dental practice itself and, and paying for Invisalign treatment or whatever it is. That, it's the sales aspect. The lead generation is just generating the leads. The lead nurture in that scenario is calling the lead and saying, hey, saw that you filled out a quick form to get an Invisalign consultation. Let's go ahead and get you booked in. We've got a slot tomorrow or Thursday. Which of those would work better for you? Okay, cool, what time? Da, 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 you booked them in, all right? So that's that, getting people to book an appointment and getting people to show up for the appointment. And then lead conversion is actually selling them there. But you have to understand that in terms of the marketing, these are the three areas. now. Once you understand this, what you're able to do in terms of your fulfillment is build out an offer in a way that will bring people down this thing. Now, back in 2017, when I first started my agency, it was totally fine to offer leads. You can go out and you can say to people, hey, we'll generate you leads. But the problem is now, so many businesses have leads, they don't know how to get them to take the next action. This is the biggest problem. This here that I'm gonna highlight blue is the biggest problem the business businesses face today, right? In, in the majority of businesses. Now, a lot of them have a sales-based issue also, but a lot of them don't have a lead-based issue. A lot of them know how to generate leads or can generate leads. 
there are caveats to this. There are exceptions to this. It's not a rule. It's just a general thing that a lot of people have a problem with nurture. Now, if you were to only focus on nurture, then there would be a lead generation problem. Because if you were able to, you know, contact all of their leads and get them to take the next action, which again, if it's dentists, that's booking an appointment and showing up. If you were getting them to do that here, then you would run out of leads because you would have a better thing here. So for most businesses, this is what we call the bottleneck right now, which is where they're going wrong. And I'm actually gonna make it red to reflect that. Most businesses have a problem here. But if you were only to solve this, then you would be creating a bottleneck here because there would not be enough leads, right? If you've got, if this bit's working better than this bit, then there's a problem, which is why agencies typically work on lead generation and then work on lead nurture if they're good. If they're not very good, they usually just do leads. Um, the reason that I say not very good is because if you really wanted to help them achieve whatever transformation there is, in most scenarios, you do have to do lead generation and lead nurture. That's just how it is. And if you work with e you need to think about really all three parts of this, which is what I did. I also did a lot of lead, lead gen, which is why I can talk about it. Um, but you have to understand that for every business, lead generation, lead nurture, lead conversion is in play in one way or another. There's obviously traffic, which I can add here, but um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You get traffic, the traffic turns into a lead, the lead turns into an appointment or whatever that may look like, and the appointment turns into um, again, whatever this looks like. Now, everything that I just said to you applies to your agency as well. Let's be real. You don't have a lead generation problem because you can go to Apollo.io and you can access thousands and thousands and thousands of niche uh, of leads of people in your niche right away. In the next 10 minutes, you can be contacting people because you've got the contact information. Lead generation is not your problem. Your problem almost always, as any business owner, is a lead nurture problem at least to begin with, and then again, it feeds back through. But the point is, you wanna solve this, solve this, solve this, and then you're good, then you're good to grow, right? So as an agency owner, I just told you what I would do here. I would go to Apollo.io, which is the tool that I recommend the most. And sure, there's people that are gonna go ahead and say, well, you could do this, you can do that, you can do whatever, there are loads out there. But if you're looking for, into, um, if you're looking for contact info, I like Apollo.io and find email. I use these two. Apollo actually finds the businesses, find email finds the contact information. That's what I use right there. In terms of lead nurture, depending on what form of, uh, whatever your niche go with, you wanna do a different form of lead nurture. Lead nurture here is a, essentially appointment setting. So what you wanna do is come to your niche and you ask the question of where are my niche? If your niche are really active online, then you will maybe wanna look at social media. Like for example, I know a lot of agency owners watch YouTube, which is why I'm recording this video today because you are my target audience. Um, so I'm recording this content for you on YouTube, right? If I knew that you were not on YouTube, but instead you were more so the people that go to in-person events, then I would be going to the in-person events because that's where my market is. And that's how you have to view this as well. Where is your market? Based on that, that's where you do your lead nurture. So for example, really quickly, uh, real estate, really easy to access their phone numbers because they give them out to everybody. And emails as well, I believe. Some of them on social media, especially, link, uh, not LinkedIn, Instagram, because they're showing off their listings and things like that. So where are realtors? You get their mobile numbers easily, their email addresses, and their Instagram quite easy as well. Exact same platform when it comes to construction and home improvement, you can get their phone numbers really easily. Email, not so much, doesn't work as well, but it still can work. Um, and social media a little bit on Facebook and Instagram, primarily Instagram from what I've seen, but it seems to be geographical, which is pretty interesting. But um, based, on, based on a few metrics uh, or demographics, it, it may vary slightly. I've got a video that breaks this down a lot more. It's one of my most recent videos. If you look back on my more recent videos before this one, um, and I think it's something titled cold email versus cold calling or something like that or what's the best approach to use for your agency. Something along those lines, go check out that video um, and that's gonna help you here. But the most easiest way to get this solved is where is your niche? And this is why, once again, we come back to niche. You know how we're saying before that people wanna start here? Well, it doesn't make any sense because everything, everything starts here. Everything starts right here. Because the same way in terms of lead nurture, your platform is gonna be based on your niche, but also what you say is gonna be based on your niche. You know, if they've got pain point one, you wanna reflect that here. 
which is why when we send cold email to agency owners, remember I told you about a pain point before, which is location freedom. I mentioned the fact that I'm in South Africa right now. It's location freedom, and I mentioned that to them. Um, I mentioned time freedom to you, which is a pain point. And we mentioned that in cold outreach as well. I tell people like, hey, I, I'm genuinely in Cape Town right now. I genuinely have full time freedom in whatever I want to do. And that's only been built by the fact of our systems. It's what I've put in place, some of what you see on the screen here and a lot more as well, that has got me there. But the point is, the information that I know about my niche is then communicated here in Lead Nurture. And to be entirely transparent with you, what we're doing right now is a form of lead nurture. You're watching this video, you're listening to me, you're learning something. The people that learn more and take action, get results, are probably gonna become a client of mine because they know that it works. So the idea is that the pain points feed into the lead nurture. Everything that we've learned here comes into here, okay? It all gets dragged through um, and, and that's how you, know, you do your marketing. You get your pain points and you drag it through right here and that's your marketing done. You speak to your audience, all right? And that's why you need to know who your audience is, get clear on that. Um, and the more specific that you can be here, the better and more specific your outreach is going to be. Again, I've got other videos that talk about outreach and I will create more videos that talk about outreach. So I'm not gonna cover this in terms of the scripting exact today. I just want you to understand what this looks like from a high level view. And of course, lead conversion is getting people to buy. And I know a lot of people have a sales issue and a lot of the reason that people have a sales issue is because they don't understand this bit right here. If you understand who you're selling to, you understand their problems and their pain points and you can convey this back to them and then explain how your fulfillment and your offer is going to solve this, you win. You get the client, GG's, you're good, all right? You can travel the world, you can make your money, you can do whatever you wanna do. That's what you gotta do. That's why you gotta start right here, figure this out, build an offer. You can look at your client acquisition, get your fulfillment correct, and then go. One more thing I wanna offer on the fulfillment side is that the further down this path you get, the better. And you know how I said, uh, I don't wanna actually add it like that, but I'm gonna add traffic here because traffic is in between this, right? There is traffic before lead generation. It's traffic and then lead generation. But um, nobody offers just traffic. Nobody says, hey, we'll just run your Facebook ads. It doesn't work. <laughs> Some of you might be. <laughs> that probably explains why you're watching this video, which again is an offer problem uh, for and covered in other videos. But the, the more value you offer, the more that you can charge and the more that people are gonna wanna work with you because you're solving a bigger problem, which again is why everything starts right here, okay? Hope this is making sense. Hope this is really drilling in and, and getting there. Um, if you want more explanation and to go way deeper on this topic, watch the, I think it was like a one hour, 20 minute full client acquisition training that I have on my YouTube. So check that out and that will go into a lot more detail. Well, it's an hour and 20 minutes long, so quite a bit more detail um, of what you need to do. But in terms of the exact process that I would follow, I'll get clear on who the niche is, get clear on what the problems are, get clear on what the pain points are. And then using this, I would create the offer because then I'll be creating an offer based on the people that I wanna help and the people I'll be targeting, right? One little additional step really quickly um, in terms of offer is have a look what other agencies are doing and just innovate and, and get better and be better than them. So have a look at what people want, have a look at what other agencies are offering and then kind of meet somewhere in the middle and in the middle right there, you're gonna create your offer and your offer is gonna be right there. It's gonna be your offer. <clears throat> you take your offer to the market. Again, lead generation should not be a problem for you. Apollo.io, find email. If that doesn't work, get data miners from Upwork. Uh, what I mean by that is just find people on Upwork that will sell you leads. So just grab somebody like that. Not grab somebody, you're gonna pay them. <laughs> you're gonna give them some money. Uh, they're providing you a service and, and you're gonna pay them for that. Uh, and then they will send you leads and then you can go contact leads or just as I said before, social media, lead nurture, social media, cold email, cold calling, uh, are the main ones. Uh, lead conversion is your sales calls. So just book sales calls, get people to show up and then close the deals if you're focusing on this it will be pretty easy, okay? Hope that makes sense, I'm gonna leave that there, but before I go, if you are an agency owner and you're looking for a more consistent and predictable flow of qualified meetings for agency, there's one thing that all of the people that I showed you at the beginning of this video had in common, and that is they got one-on-one -on -one help. Now, I don't care who you get one-on-one -on -one help from, you can come to me, you can go to other people, doesn't matter, this is something that has helped um, pretty much everybody, it's, it's what helped me and that's why I believe in it so much and that's why even at this level, I still offer one-on-one -on -one help. So 
If you would like to explore getting my one-on-one -on -one help, potentially getting my one-on-one -on -one help, click the first link in the description down below. It will take you to a landing page that explains a little bit more about what we do. And then from there, you and I can have a chat, see if and how I can help you and then show you exactly what that would look like for your very specific situation. I don't have a sales team right now, so you can hop on a call with me one-on-one -on -one, and I can walk you through a custom game plan for your situation of exactly if and how I would help you grow your agency, okay? If you want that, click the link down below. If not, that's totally fine. Um, but I really, really would recommend you getting some one-on-one -on -one help from somebody that you truly believe in, somebody that you trust could help you get to where you want to be uh, because it really is what changed my life and, and many, many of my clients that I've shown you before. Okay, so if you're interested, click the link down below or do whatever you got to do. Uh, if not, hit the subscribe button, click the like, leave a comment if you've got any questions down below and I'll see you again in the next video.